Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design. And sometimes here and there, I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think that are interesting to share with you guys. And I always, always include few different looks to give you guys an idea how to styling with the show. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick review on this collaboration between a Cold War and Converse. You know, this is not a new partnership between these two brands. They already done some amazing work for the past couple of years. This time, they choose the Converse weapon as their collaborations model. I think it's a little bit safer compared to their past model release, but Converse weapon is always iconic, right? Regardless they are mid-top or low-top version, I've done a lot of video review on their past release between Converse and the Cold War. Check them out, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. And you can see a lot of other designers, they pick Converse weapon as their partnership release model as well, like the Rick Owens collaboration with Converse, the Turbo weapon. That collaboration, in my opinion, is really bring the combo weapon to the spotlight. And I also done the review video on those shoes. If you are interested, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below. I know I done a lot of video review on Converse collaboration shoes because I think Converse is a great brand and they done amazing work on their collaborations. And here we are, you can see another version of the Converse weapon, the collaboration with between a cold wall and Converse. Um, the pricing on these shoes is $130 compared to the regular Converse weapon, they are $110. If you don't really care so much about the brand name, the regular Converse weapon would look just fine. Converse why I think the shoes is very comfortable as some of you guys have experienced with other Converse model. As long as they use the CX technology in the and so you know the shoes is gonna give you good comfort. Sizing wise though, I would recommend people go half a size up because the toe is a little bit narrow. To me, I'm fine with the choo-choo size fit. Now let's talk about the thing that I don't like about the shoes first. That's the only one thing that I don't like the shoes is the wrinkle nylon material that they use on the upper. You can see the wrinkle nylon material they use on most of the shoes upper panels, like the vein, the quarter, the back of the heel counter, as well as the tongue. Make the shoes is a little bit inexpensive, I get it. They got it connected to their apparel pieces as well, that's why they use that wrinkle nylon material on the upper. Now let's talk about the good things on the shoe, right? Uh, the upper is a combination with nylon material, suede leather, and synthetic leather. I really like the touch of the rust color in the lining that keep the shoes very well contrast on the gray color upper. At the lacing system, you can see they use a cold wall signature lacing system. Top of the tongue, they have that customized woven label in the lateral size at the quarter panel you can see they have the stitching canvas branding logo and on top of that quarter panel they have a cold wall pu panels in white colors and in the middle size around the heel counter they have the emboss of the ACW branding logo. The branding logo on these shoes, they are minimalist, which is very good detail that I would recommend most of the product that I wear. Um, I do not like a big branding logo. And this model, they come with extra laces. Um, the main laces, they use round laces and the secondary laces, they use flat laces. What I like about these laces is they use the silicon deep for athletes feel a little bit sporty on the shoe. The sock liner, they use velvet-like textile material, feel a little bit premium in the footbed. This outsole color is translucent. It's a cup sole with the reinforcement stitches. Overall, I think a cold wall done amazing work on these collaborations. Um, they really stay true to 
their brand identity, which is the color and material that they use on this upper. And up next, I'm going to share with you guys how I would like to style them. So there you have it. What do you think about this collaboration between Compass and the Cold War? This model low-key kind of cool in my opinion. This is really expected. I just like the design of it and um, the wrinkle nylon material that they use on upper is the only thing that I don't like about the shoes. Not gonna lie, in design wise, I like the past release. Uh, this is not really my type of style to be honest. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.